Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this quick video, we're going to go through Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 on the Surface Pro 7 Plus. This is the 2021 version of the Surface Pro, the eighth generation of Surface Pro, which I think it should be called Surface Pro 8 because it's a significant improvement in a number of different areas, including the 11th gen processor. It has the 1165G7 processor with XE graphics, which is quite a bit faster for graphics intensive tasks like video rendering. So I'm seeing, and I'll show this at the end of this video, um, some rendering tests that I did uh, with the Surface Pro 7, which is right over here, and the Surface Pro 7 Plus. Uh, and then before that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I edit on a tablet. All right, so you guys can see the layout here in Premiere Pro, the artist pad on the left is uh, what I use to edit, because I don't like editing with a keyboard but I need keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna show you, uh, and I'm not gonna talk through this whole thing because frankly, um, I can't. <laughs> I just get uh, far too confused on what I'm doing or I forget what I'm doing, um, so I'm not gonna do that. You can see the hotkeys. What I'm pressing is showing on the uh, left in orange. That's key press OSD. I'll link to that software in the description. Okay, OBS captures, and my most recent one here. These are what's currently going on here, and let's bring this one in. Okay, that is gonna go directly over the top of that other file, but I know where that is, so we'll just drop that back in again. So we're gonna cut that and then we are going to ripple delete. Kind of see my daughter picking her nose the majority of the time. This is good. <laughs> so I'm I'm fairly new actually to uh, OBS Studio and doing some of this stuff. Uh, so I don't know here. I'm switching the resolution in the background. You can see now it's tiny. Oh no. So here and expand this out. So right here, this is really small because I changed the resolution. It was full screen. Um, whatever the resolution resolution 2736 by 18 something. Now it's 16, uh, 1680 by 1050 resolution and it's small. So I don't know how to do that. Okay, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and jump back over here. Okay, so you guys can see kind of what's going on here. I'm switching between the hand tool, the selection tool. Um, let's say I, I want to um, slice through here. Then um, I'm pressing this, which is Control Shift plus K. I have my undo keys. Um, and this is really fast and easy. It's very comfortable for me, but I also know what these buttons do. Uh, so I'm gonna go quickly through what they do for your sake. Um, top left corner. This is save. Uh, let's actually just open up a trackpad so you guys can see easier. Okay, so over here, this is save. Um, I don't know, and not sure what that's good for, but um, here, let's see, when E, oh, okay. So it's the same thing as this button down here, the file, open file. This is to, um, encode your media, this is your media button, 
this one um, should shift to the next window, um, but I don't think it does. This one expands whatever the current uh, window is, the current tab. And what do you do? B, it's another tool, escape. Uh, I believe this is right click. Yep, right click. If you're using the pen, control shift alt. This will bring you back to the beginning of whatever you're at. So here, if I click on this, and let's make sure that we're inside of here. I press, it's going to bring me back to start. This is cut, undo, redo. Um, this is going to bring you forward to the next edit. And this is going to play back, change the playback speed if we wanted to play it in reverse for some sort of uh, ritualistic incantation. You can do it that way. Um, this is just backspace. This is the hand tool, which is H. This is shift plus delete, so this is your ripple delete. Um, here's our selection tool, our uh, slicing tool. I'm not sure what that's called. This is zoom in and out of the track. This is um, so that you can do your um, ripple edit. What is this called? Ripple edit tool. There we go. Uh, this is our moving tools, um, track selection forward tool. Um, that allows you to move everything from there forwards over. So if you want to not select everything, just move everything. That's how you do it. Uh, this is the marker tool. So it's going to put a marker here, although I'm not sure why that's different now than it was before. Um, this is copy. This is paste. This is Cortana. So if you want to add some sort of a description or rename something, you just press that and talk. Uh, this opens your files, this opens the touch keyboard. Although that tool never seems to work consistently for me. Um, so you can see touch keyboard. If you select here, it's going to be stuck. And so actually you want to tap here and tap there in order to um, make it fit better. And then Windows, uh, this will be your selection, so you can choose uh, different settings inside of Tablet Pro. And there's a little robot button. Oh, for screen grabs. So, <laughs> I guess. All right, you guys, that's everything on the Artist Pad. You can adjust that to do whatever you want. If you're using Premiere Pro on a tablet with a stylus or a tablet with a touch screen, this is really cool and allows you to do your work in a number of different locations outside of just a desk with a keyboard and a mouse. I like this because I can do this in my car or on the couch with my kids or wherever I want. Um, sorry, so stay tuned. I'm going to throw up the uh, rendering videos right after this. You guys can check that out and see the difference. Roughly 25% increase in rendering speed uh, with all things similar, including if it's plugged in or not plugged in. It does matter that it's plugged in. It will render faster. The last one, the uh, Surface Pro 7 Plus was not plugged in and the Surface Pro 7 was. Let's see if that makes much of a difference here. You can see these two together. We're gonna do this one more time with both of these, both of these um, unplugged. Okay, export, export. Okay, let's move this over, move this over, and just see how close these guys stay this time. I 
right, this is this is roughly what I expect. Um, definitely they perform better when they're plugged in, um, but you can see that the 7 Plus finished uh, roughly 25% faster than the Surface Pro 7. All right, that's it. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, stay creative.